Hello everybody, my name is Yaniel Malagón and today I'm going to show you how to use the main functionalities of the system as an employer. Uh, we start by registering the, um, the employer. By We click in the register button, we select the employers and we fill out this information regarding to the due to your company. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration we, are just, we already have um, a form uh, filled so we're just gonna go ahead and submit the form basically um, after we submit the form you are gonna receive an, an email notification uh, that we are in the process of crea creating your, your account and later on you're gonna receive a uh, notification when the when you're able to log in and uh, to your account because it's already uh, active okay so let's go ahead and proceed let's submit as soon as you submit the application you're gonna receive a notification message saying that you were successfully registered for the virtual job fair as an employer and if you go down and you go um, check your email you'll see that you're gonna uh, receive this notification right here okay. okay when you receive the notification from the uh, administrator of the system uh, you are gonna be able to log in so we proceed to log in and then you're gonna have access to your profile to see your profile you go here my profile and then you're gonna see all the information that you provided in the registration page here in your profile page you can edit your information you're gonna you can up upload um, an image this graph here is gonna show you the percentage um, of your profile completion uh, for example right now uh, it's showing that you need uh, to upload a picture and edit some basic information and also create some some jobs um, and as soon as you start adding these items this bar is gonna is gonna increase until it get the hundred percent um, showing that you, your profile is complete now let's go to the home page hello now that we have created our um, our account let's proceed to login um, to show you the main functionalities of the system in the home page we're gonna find all the information about the system um, we have uh, the notification in the right side we have the video interviews we have the applicants we, um, we have the message uh, this notification uh, will will show you um, how many applicants you already have uh, in this, uh, for for your jobs uh, if you have it's gonna also show you if you have any pending message that you haven't read um, and it's gonna provide you a bunch of um, information about um, what you have pending on the system let's start here um, from the list of the jobs that we have um, as you can see we have this job here the tester job that is already have three applicants every time a, a, per, a student apply for a job is gonna show uh, be shown here in this list and um, you're gonna be able to see their profiles if you click if you click on it um, but um, you can also in this section you can edit your post uh, you decided that you need to um, to add more information or you need to change some kind of information within your post you can do you can do it here and then you click the save button and automatically it's gonna be your, your the post gonna be saved uh, if you decide that you want to preview this post to see how it looks you can go here and click the previous button here and then it's gonna it's gonna show you how the your post is gonna look like in the left side you're gonna see the same number of applicants that they already applied for the job you can close the job if you if you want to but understand that closing the job means that nobody else will be able to apply for this for, for the job okay 
we'll, let's go back here to the same section that we were. Um, we also have the close, which is basically the same as closing the job. And we have um, we also have the clone. Uh, the clone button basically we use it to create to create um to create one a new post from an existing one uh which is gonna save you time uh but if you need to create um some kind of post that is similar to one that you already have you don't need to retype everything from scratch um and it also is a, a good um good tools uh when you have a, a job that already expired um because when when the job is already expired you cannot modify you cannot edit so basically you're gonna take advantage of this tool in order to accomplish this this task okay so basically we already spoke about this if you need to create a new post you click here where it says new post and then you fill all this information uh, um, when you're done you click submit and automatically the the post is gonna be listed in the home page. Uh, please notice that uh, the intelligence of the system allows you to incorporate many um, skills as as you type here in the description the intelligence of the system allows you to capture many of the skills that you might be requesting in your description. Uh, let me give you a brief a uh, brief, uh, brief example. Let's say that in your request you're looking for someone that knows um, that knows HTML. Automatically notice how the system recognizes that you're putting um, an HTML on one of the skills. Let's put SQL for example. All those kind of skills are added automatically. If you need to remove it, just click the little um, remove button here, um, and basically that's how you add skill uh, skills um, to your to your to your po uh, to your post. Obviously, you can you can also add the skill manually. Let's say that you want um, to add F sharp, you can do so. You can. Add a skill, and when you're happy with the description and all the information that you provided in the post, you just click submit, and automatically your post is gonna be available here, just like like this post. And then you can start modifying and play with it, um, just like uh, I show you before in this section. Every time someone applies for a job, you're gonna be able to see this person profile information. Uh, in the list of the applicants. Now that we have spoken about a little bit about the home page, let's move to the message. The message uh, is the one of the features that allows you to communicate with students. Um, it's basically where you're gonna handle all kind of conversation regarding to the jobs, um, job interviews, um, information that you might ask to a possible um, possible candidate. So here uh, we have the inbox. Uh, when you click, you're gonna be able to open any message that you have received. If the message uh, haven't been read, uh, you can. It's gonna show you here how many how many message do you have on read. In this case, this one is uh, we already uh, read this message. Um, read this message. So. Um, we, we, that's why it's showing zero, right? So if you want to reply to this student, all you need to do is just click the little envelope here, and it's gonna populate all the information that you need to reply to this student. So once you rep when you finish replying, if you want to check if the message went went out or not, you can go to the send item, and then you're gonna you're gonna see that you know that the message was actually um, went out and the time uh, that it went out. Let's say that, for example, you delete this this message mess, message from the inbox by mistake. You you can still retrieve this message if you go to the trash, and then you click here, uh, selecting the message that you want to re recover. 
you can do so by clicking in the recovery message button and if you go to the inbox the message that you that you delete is gonna show up there if you need to create a new message you click compose and the autocomplete is gonna help you to send the message to the uh, to the student that you need to send the message to and you can also create multiple or you can add multiple students in the list of the, of the recipients from the same autocomplete which is gonna be easier for you to 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 find the person that you're looking for okay let's let's go uh, now to the advanced search let's suppose that you need you're looking for a student uh, or part, for a particular um, for a particular skill that you're looking for uh, for your pos your job position the, the, the your position that you're offering right um, you can take advantage of this uh, this of this search um, to to find the candidates that might them that the that can match your your job right so here you can search for you can search for skill city name of school major month work as or work in uh, and it's gonna return um I just gonna return a list of the matches that of the person that you might that you might be interested in um, to see, right? So let's suppose that you look for someone who has skills like um, my SQL. and you do a search. It's gonna show you all the persons in the system that match this criteria. And once you have this result, you can save this query. And you can reuse this query as many times as you as you need. If you decide that you don't need this query anymore, you can just go ahead and click the delete button and the, and it's gonna go away. So this this type of search is very useful when you're looking for a particular kind of skills um, and it's a good feature that you should be considering use um, by the time you're looking for for candidates if you find your candidate um, at any moment you can send a message to to the to, to, to the candidate by clicking the send message which take is gonna take you to the message system is gonna allows you uh, to contact directly the student um, like I, like I said before you can add as many students as you want as an employer you can also change your password in order to do this click under your username in the upper right corner click change password then provide the old password which is your current password then create a new password confirm it down and click submit after clicking submit you're going to receive a notification saying whether you were able to successfully change the password or not if you were able to successfully change the password you're going to be able to uh, log in into the system with the new credentials With this, we conclude um, at the overview of the system. I hope you like it and enjoy it. Thank you very much.